Developing story out of New Britain tonight. Cops say they have now linked the seventh victim to a serial killing case dating back more than a decade. Authorities say they believe the remains of Marilyn Gonzalez of Waterbury are the last that will be found behind a strip mall on Hartford Road. News 8's Noel Gardner is live in New Britain covering the latest on this. Noel? And in Keith, Marilyn Gonzalez was a daughter, a sister, and a mother. Police say her identification is crucial to the investigation. The seventh victim has now been positively identified. The seventh person identified is Marilyn Gonzalez. Police identifying Marilyn Gonzalez after her remains were recovered in the rear of a New Britain shopping plaza. Police say Gonzalez was 26 years old when she left her Waterbury home on May 16th of 2003 and never returned. She was reported missing by her mother on May 29th. Marilyn had two daughters at the time of her disappearance. The older daughter was 11 years old and the other was only seven years old with her, when their mother went missing. Gonzalez is one of seven victims to be identified and remains recovered behind the West Farm Shopping Center on Hartford Road. Police are confident there are no other victims there. Every year we've done surface searches and it's a very difficult area back there. Uh, we've had cadaver dogs in there. This year we had a highly specialized cadaver dog that, that uh, focused us in on a uh, less than an acre of many acres. Um, so it, we've, we've turned, literally turned it inside out. According to police, all seven victims went missing in 2003. 45-year-old William Devin Howell has been incarcerated since May of 2005 when he was arrested and charged in Nilsa Arzmendi's death. In August of 2007, Howell was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Joyaline Martinez disappeared at age 23. She was a very loving person. Her sister feels she owes it to Joyaline to be at every press conference. I said from the beginning, every press release you have, everything that they, has anything to do with my sister, I will be there. I will be there whether I'm sick or not, I won't be there because he will pay for what he did to my sister. And at this time, police are not talking about a suspect in this crime, but they say they are moving forward at a rapid pace. In New Britain, Noel Gardner, News 8.